Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Carrie and this is Book for Romance. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am so excited to be here guys because I did something special. We went to library book sales. Yes, we did. We went to library book sales and I brought you guys along. So today we are gonna see what I snagged at the library book sales. You're, you're gonna walk through with me and check it out. Um, I've got some B-roll for the library book sales, guys. Not a ton because people are walking around being like this crazy lady's filming. So, um, but, and then I'm gonna show you what I scored, what I snagged. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I probably don't know the premise to any of these books, but I'm gonna show you what I snagged just so you guys know what I got at these library book sales. And then at the end of this, I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for everything and what the total number of books I ended up getting. Just to let you know, if you like any of this content or you wanna see more of it, just like and subscribe, show me some love, and here we go. Um, the first book sale I went to, I keep telling my good friend Lacey about it, Lacey from Lacey with Book Lovers. Um, it is a sale that is right next to her. And what's great about these library sales is because all these libraries get donations and they can't take these donations and put them in their libraries. Fortunately, they sell these books to us because it's able to support their programs. So either like their kids programs or their book clubs or any programs they have in the library. So it really helps to donate books to your local library so they can do these sales. And then it helps us because then we could purchase these books at the same time. But before I show you the loot that I got, here is the first snippet of where I went for my first library sale. Okay, so that was me shopping at the library sale and I was with my mom, so she might be in some of the snippets, but I have my loot right here. So this is the first, whoa, this is <laughs> as it kind of falls over. It's fine, it's fine. But here's the first stuff I ended up picking up. I'm so excited about it, you guys. I can't even tell you. The first one, I have a copy of this, but I picked it up in case one of my friends doesn't have a copy of this. And it's again, The Magic by Lisa Kleypas. So yes, this is such a nice Lisa Kleypas, which I'm really excited about. Have I read this one yet? No, but do I need to read it? Stop, I'm reading this this year. I also got another, uh, Julie Garwood, The Lion's Lady. I could not leave this one there. I mean, just because it's, it's such an iconic cover that I absolutely adore. So I'm like, for the price it was, I could not leave it here. I'd rather give it to a friend if I already own this one than actually leave it there. The next one was this Honorable Scoundrels by Sophie Barnes I picked up. I thought it was really good. It looks like 
the series is in here in here so all three of these books are in this one bind up and i'm like it was cute i saw it i'm like i couldn't leave it so i picked this one up I picked up Prince Charming by Julie Garwood. It was a hardback. I'm like, for what it costs, I'm like, I could not leave it. I thought it was really cute. I know it's gotten a lot of good ratings on Goodreads. I love Julie Garwood, so I picked this one up too. I will be reading this one this year as well. Okay, so here's, I mean, this is the reason why you do book sales. I mean, on the inside of this cover, if you could see this, I don't there, you guys could see it now. It was originally $22. I mean, for what I picked it up for, you can't leave it. Another Julia Garwood I picked up was this one, and it was uh, Ransom, which I love this book so flippin' much. It got five stars across the board, but what I really liked about it was that this is a fake cover, and this is the inside. So... You guys should definitely read this series. It is a really, really good series. I think it's one of her best, to be honest. I think the first book is The Secret. Yes, the first book is The Secret. This is book two, actually, which is Ransom, which I gave it five stars. And then the third book is Shadow and Music, which I ended up giving it four stars. So yeah, I was super pumped when I found that one. Next book I found was this Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Um, I think I have the one with like the truck on it. Did have the Unexpected Everything that I picked up at the same book sale, mind you, just not this time. So I also have Save the Date by her as well. So I'm gonna do a reading vlog of all three of these and see what I think of them, and especially as an adult, because it's so hard to, I don't know if this is adult or not, but I know these two are YA, so it's hard as an adult to go into YA because they're not written for us, so, but I still like to give the adult aspect of like YA because I still enjoy them. So yes, I will do a reading vlog on these three, even though I did pick up this one from the book sale. Next, I have Line of Scrimmage by Marie Force. Okay, so this one's interesting, you guys. I guess he's a football player. This reminds me a lot of the Bromance Book Club. They are, I guess this is gonna be considered a second chance romance where he is a football player and they're on the verge of being getting a divorce because the main heroine is tired of seeing women throw themselves at the main hero and the main hero is determined to figure out how to save his marriage. That's what I got from the back of this. It sounds interesting. I wanted to give it a go. I mean, gosh, I love any sort of football, baseball, hockey romances. Sign me up for that. This one is uh, P.S. I Love You by Cassie West. I thought, again, look at how cute this cover is. Honestly, this is just such a cute cover. I thought this one was really cute. I guess in chemistry class, she um, had scribbled some lyrics onto a desk. Then she leaves to go to her next class. When she comes back the next day, the lyrics are continued by another person. I thought that was cute. I love a good YA romance. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for them. So I wanted to give this one a go. I thought it was cute, the premise was cute. And yeah, so that's PS I Love You. The next is Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. Now this one was recommended to me by my sister-in-law. So my sister-in-law said, hey, Hey, have you ever read the book Girl Wash Your Face? And I think it's more along the lines of like a motivational book, which I was excited about. I mean, look at the cover. It's really cute. I wanted to give it a go. When my sister-in-law recommends me a book, I always like to try it. So I picked up this one. I thought it was cute. That's what I ended up getting was Say No to the Duke by Eloisa James. I feel like I've seen this before from other booktubers who have really enjoyed this one so i wanted to pick it up and have my own copy so i was excited to get this one too and then the last one i picked up from that sale was a special edition look how cute it is um of little women so it was a special edition i always like picking up special editions especially if they have a cute um cover to them I mean, look at the design on the inside. I thought it was really adorable. So I did end up picking up this one. I thought it was super cute. Okay, so that was it for that book sale. The next book sale, book two, was kind of on the DL. Um, I can't tell you a lot about this book sale, but um, I could show you little snippets of it. It's very little B-roll, and then I will show you the loot that I got from that book sale. <music>
gonna go through a little faster because I feel like otherwise this is gonna be like the forever um, book haul of what I got from the library sales. But the first one I got was Chasing River by K.A. Tucker. Um, I love K.A. Tucker, I love her writing. I wanted to give this one a go. I mean, for the price it was, of course I picked it up. Lisa Kleypas, Chasing Cassandra. I already have a copy of this, but I wanted to see if this copy was better than my existing copy. And if it was, I'm gonna pass this on to someone else because I mean, it was just in such great shape that I could not leave it behind. Next one is November Rain by TJ West. I thought that this one, I mean, honestly, it's definitely a cover read for me. Um, I think he's in the Air Force, enough said. Honestly, I love any sort of military romance. This one is Saving Quentin by Jessica Sorensen. Honestly, this is a dark romance. That's all I know about this one. But again, look at this cover. I just couldn't leave it behind. Next, we have The L Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. I hope I said that right. By India Holton. Um, I know Crystal has read this one from Crystal's book is Live. I wanted to give it a go. I think this is a newer book, so I was excited to pick this one up. The next, I have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Like, I've seen this on shelves for the longest time. I wanted to give Brandon Sanderson a go for like years, but the problem is, is Brandon Sanderson is very um, in depth in his writing and sometimes they're always longer books. So I wanted to start out with Brandon Sanderson in his YA era before I kicked into his adult because I feel like his adult is pretty elaborate. So I was nervous to go there first. We have is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I hope I said their last name correctly. Um, all I know is it's an MM and I'm excited to have it because I have been seeing this cover everywhere. Some people swear by it, others it was just so-so. So I'm excited to give it a read. I think it's cute. I bought it because of the cover because I love it. So that's why I picked this one up. Next we have Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afishar. This is a complete cover buy. If you, if you guys can see that, yeah. It's 100% a complete cover buy. This is a fantasy and that's pretty much what I know. I think it's a romance fantasy to be honest. I'm excited to have this one. It looks really good. It reminds me of um, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. So I'm gonna put that right here. So I felt like it gave that kind of vibes, hence why I picked up this one. We have is The Protector by Jody Ellen Melbus. Um, it just remind, it gave me bodyguard vibes. And since it did, I ended up picking up that one. The next I picked up was Friend Zone by Abby Jeminsons. I hope I said that last name correctly. Sorry guys if I didn't. But this was really popular like three years ago. So I was like, hey, I wanted to give it a go. The next one I have is The Wrong Bride by Dylan Callen. Now, I don't know if I own this one because I have that huge historical book haul, but I didn't want to leave it because it was in such great shape. So I picked it up and if I had, if this is a number two, I will be gifting it to one of my friends. Next one I picked up was Roses by Leah McCam. Um, this one was, it's pretty chunky to be honest, but like, it looked really pretty. I mean, it is a it is a romance, but I said, worst case scenario, this could be like a display book for me. But I was excited to pick it up. It did have good ratings on Goodreads. I love the flower petals of what they did at the front of it. So I ended up picking up this one too. What I picked up is a book two. This is a precarious undertaking. No, this is book two, but for the fact it was a hardcover and it was in such great shape, I picked it up. I actually have all the audios in these and I just haven't gotten around to listening to them. So this is why I ended up picking up this one. In case it ended up being a favorite of mine, I wanted to have it. Next one we have is Kissing Under the Mistletoe by Susan Enoch, Amelia Gray, and Anna Bennett. I literally checked this one out this Christmas and I didn't end up getting to it. It's actually on Hoopla and I didn't re listen to it, but I'm going to listen to it probably next Christmas, but I wanted to have this copy. Look, at it's in such great shape. I could not leave it behind. This one we have is The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I mean, you guys, all these books are like brand new to this year. So again, could not leave it behind. I really love the one she did with um, Beach Reads. So I do enjoy Emily Henry, even though she kind of reads more like women's fiction, but I wanted to give this one a go. It really did get good ratings on Goodreads. The next one I picked up was The Wolf's Den by Elodie Harper. Um, this one is more of like 
fantasy feminist than it is romance, but I still wanted to give it a go because I do like a fantasy so much. I wanted to see what this one was about. It looked pretty and it's just got, it's just in such great shape. What I have is Truth in Roses. I'm not gonna even attempt to say this first name, but the last name is Cooper. I did look this one up on Goodreads. It did get actually decent ratings, so I ended up picking this one up too, and it's a romance. I figured, let's go with it. The next one is The Bride Test by Helena Hong. I am so excited to finally have a copy of this. I actually, it's really funny, because I have this one, and then I have the Kiss Potion, sorry, under here that um, now I have both copies of her books and these are the two that I really enjoyed the most and I got them both secondhand. So I was excited to have these and they're such good reads. I really do highly recommend these ones. And the last thing I picked up from this sale, which I'm so excited about is the whole set of Sarah J Mass. Um, so I have to admit, like, I'm literally going to display these right behind me like this. They are not in the greatest shape, mind you, but I'm okay with that because of the price I paid for them. So um, this is the Quarter Thornets and Roses series. As you can see, they are written on, so they're not in the best of shape, but I only needed the spines for my purposes. So I was okay for what I paid for these to pick up the whole set. See? So they're not in the best of shape, so don't get too excited. But for the fact that they're gonna be great display pieces, works in my favor. So that's that one. Okay, so I was in such good spirits, I ended up going around my mom's community to look for little free libraries. And I ended up finding two, and I'll give you the snippets out right here. I ended up taking The Company of Swans by Eva Ibotson. Um, I really did think this one was cute. I love the cover again. Um, but for me, I was more intrigued, intrigued about this one. It, it's set in the 1912s and she is a ballerina and she ends up joining this company as the 18th Swan. I really do like like dance type um, books. So I wanted to give this one a go. And obviously, as you can see in my B-roll that I ended up leaving three children's books in places of this. I was at my mom's house, so I didn't have a lot of books with me at the time. Usually I like to leave more than what I came with. So, and since it was running low in children's books, I ended up leaving three children's books. Um, if they have more children's books, I'll leave three YA books or three adult books or whatever. So I really appreciate them having something that I wanted and I will always exchange it for more than what I come in with. Okay, so if you made it this far, thank you so much for making it this far. Now, what did I get for the prices? Okay, I spent that day $17. I spent $17 and I got 32 books. 33 if you count the one I ended up getting from the little free library. So 32 books for $17. Each book was about 50 cents um, for paperback, a dollar for hardcover. So this is what I'm saying. If you guys run into library book sale, make sure you stop. You never know what you're going to find. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all of my treasures that I'm really excited to have. And um, until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.